So today's example, we're going to find the equation of a line that is perpendicular to a given line uh, that goes through a point that is not on the line. And this is probably the most complicated example you'll see. Uh, if you can do this one, you can do the parallel. Uh, it's just a simpler version, but uh, let's uh, start with an example. Um, this one's going to have lots of fractions in it. So uh, anything that you'll see will be either like this one or a little bit simpler. So our given line is 3x minus 5y equals negative 8. And we want the perpendicular line that goes to the point negative 1, negative 6. So for these types of problems, you're going to be uh, solving them algebraically. That is, you don't have to graph them. We're going to be looking at the graph just to check our work. But uh, these problems should be done uh, just working with equations. So uh, in order to find the equation of our line, what we're going to need is the uh, slope of our line and we're going to need the y-intercept. Uh, so we need to find out that information. Uh, our first step is to find our slope. And uh, we know that the slope of a perpendicular line to a line is going to be opposite and reciprocal from the slope of the given line. Unfortunately, our given line is in the form 3x minus 5y equals negative 8, so we're going to have to find the slope of that line by uh, manipulating the equation and putting it into y equals mx plus b form. Then we can read the slope right off of it. So we're going to isolate y by itself on the left side. Uh, first we'll subtract 3x from both sides, giving us this situation. Now to get rid of this minus 5 multiplier, we divide both sides by minus 5. That gives us this situation. Uh, we're going to take this first term, uh, negative over negative is going to be positive. We're going to move x out to the side, so we've got 3 fifths x. Uh, we're going to move this negative out front, minus a minus becomes plus, so uh, we've got plus 8 fifths. So uh, the, sl the slope intercept form of the given line is y equals 3 fifths x plus 8 fifths. So all we need from this is the slope. We do not do anything with this y-intercept. I see a lot of students uh, try to work this into the problem somehow, but this gives us no extra information that we need. All we need is the slope of uh, the given line, which in this case is 3 fifths. And any line that is uh, perpendicular to that line will have opposite and reciprocal slope, so the opposite and reciprocal from 3 fifths is negative 5 thirds. So we're halfway there. We know that our uh, slope is negative 5 thirds. Uh, all we need now is the uh, y-intercept, or the b in the y equals mx plus b form. And there are two ways to do that, two fairly simple ways. I'm going to uh, go over both methods so you can pick whichever one you like the best and uh, work your problems that way. They're both uh, fairly easy. It just kind of depends on uh, how your answer is supposed to be displayed. So uh, in the y equals mx plus b now, uh, we know what m is. It's negative 5 thirds. And we're given a point, negative 1, negative 6, that is on our line. So all we have to do is plug in those values for x and y, and we'll have an equation with just numbers in b. And we can solve this equation for b, and that will give us the b in our y equals mx plus b form. So that's going to be our first method, is just to find the b in the slope-intercept form. So. Uh, just plug everything in and simplify. Negative 5 thirds times negative 1 is positive 5 thirds. Need to subtract 5 thirds from both sides to isolate the b. Uh, we've got a whole number minus a fraction. We need to change this whole number into a fraction. Uh, our least common denominator is 3, so uh, negative 6 we're going to express as negative 18 thirds, so we can subtract our two fractions here. Uh, negative 18 thirds minus 5 thirds is negative 23 thirds. So that's our b. So now we know our m, we know our b, so we can write our equation in slope intercept form, which is going to be y equals negative 5 thirds x minus 22 thirds. Our second method is uh, using the point slope form of the equation. So whenever you have a uh, 
a line where you know what the slope is and you know a point that goes that is on that line you can express the equation of the line in this form y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1 in parentheses so we know our uh, point is negative 1 negative 6 our slope is negative 5 thirds so we just plug those in uh, again the negatives here are part of the formula so we have to uh, account for that by uh, putting our negative numbers in parentheses and then simplifying. Negative, negative is a positive in both cases. So the point slope form of our line is y plus 6 equals negative 5 thirds x plus 1. So uh, this is a little bit more convenient, but often you are asked to express your answer in uh, slope intercept form or y equals mx plus b form. So uh, if you uh, are asked to give your answer like this, this one will not work. Whoops. Uh, you're going to have to uh, distribute the negative 5 through to the parentheses, then subtract 6 from both sides in order for uh, us to get into the slope-intercept form. But um, I'm going to check my work using both of these equations just to make sure both are right. I'm going to graph the original line, I'm going to graph my point, and then I'm going to graph the uh, answer uh, and hope that the line looks like it's perpendicular to the given line and does go through our point. Okay, so I've gone ahead and plotted uh, the original line, which is uh, 3x minus 5y equals negative 8. That's our red line. And here is our point that we are given. It's negative 1, negative 6. So we are hoping that our line is perpendicular to this one and goes through this point. So it hopefully is somewhere around this region. So I'm going to first uh, enter in the uh, slope intercept form which is y equals negative 5 thirds x minus 23 thirds and sure enough that does look perpendicular and uh, it does go through the correct point. Uh, now I'm going to enter in the slope uh, point slope form y plus 6 equals negative 5 thirds uh, times x plus 1 in parentheses and hope that it's the same line and it looks like it. All right, so uh, depending on which way you are asked to uh, express your answer, you can use either form, uh, and you can use either form to uh, solve the problem just depending on uh, which way you like to do it. That's all for today.